Hello everyone, what's up mga kamags? Welcome to our YouTube channel. So for, this, for today's video, we will discuss about the importance of quantitative research across the fields. So this is the Practical Research 2, Quarter 1, Module 1, Part 3. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss the importance of quantitative research across the fields. So we have here, let's start. So people do research to find solutions, so even tentative ones, to problem in order to improve or enhance way of doing things, to disprove or provide a new hypothesis, or simply to find answers to questions or solutions to a problem in daily life. So research is very important, especially to provide solutions to our basic problem in the society or community, so it helps to improve or enhance the way of our living. So research findings can affect people's lives, way of doing things, laws, rules, and regulations, as well as the policies among others. Widely, quantitative research is often used because of its emphasis on proof rather than discoveries. So now, let's have a quantitative research in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So medical practitioners, for example, conduct researches to obtain significant information about the disease, trends, and risk factors, results of various health interventions, patterns of care, and health care cost and use. The different approaches to research provided complementary insights. So researchers help in determining the effectiveness and even the side effect of drugs and things or therapies in different populations and various institutions. We all know that research is very important, especially in the field of medicine, as we experience the impact of COVID-19. In 2020, at that year, we are not ready. The world is not ready for this kind of virus. That is why we experience total lockdown, while the researchers, doctors, and the medicine experts conduct research and created the vaccine that saves a lot of people. So research also is very important, especially in the field of electronics and robotics, where we are now living in their era. Scientists do research in order to understand the nature of our planet using high technologies and robots. Therefore, the students' expected output is more on scientific basis. All of their studies must be anchored in the experimental research design. These studies will be presented and shared through program of the DepEd, which is the Division, Region, and National Science Technology Fair. For the ABM or Quantitative Research in Accounting, Business, and Management or ABM, researchers can help design a new product or service figuring out what is needed and ensure the development of product is highly targeted towards demand. Businessmen can also utilize research results to guarantee sufficient distribution of their products and decide where they need to increase their product distribution. Research also is very important in the field of business. Most of the companies and institutions have research and development department which they are the one who is in charge of the development, enhancement, and innovating their products. Research plays a significant role in the evolution of our electronics and gadgets. As you can see, we have here the evolution of the Apple laptop. We have also here the evolution of iPhone SE, iPhone XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and iPhone 12 Pro. We have also here the Samsung Galaxy series. Conducting research can also help a business to determine whether now is the proper time to open another branch or whether it is need to apply for a new loan. It may also help a small business decide if a procedure or strategy should be changed to meet the requirements of the customer's base. In business, in order to decide whether it is time to open another branch, we will have a feasibility studies, a study that will help the business owner, especially in their decision making. For example, this Jollibee. Jollibee is a Filipino fast food which is now well known in other countries. 
putting a branch in other country is not easy. You need to study the culture, people, and its environment. So therefore, the main product of the ABM students is to come up with an innovative solutions or products that can help to improve the way of our living. So we have here the quantitative research in sports medicine or sports. Quantitative research is used to analyze how sports may be used as an alternative way of medicating an illness. An example, it is a research done by the University of Easter Finland, which investigated the relationship between mushroom of fast food, change and, uh, chains, and obesity, as well as the intervention needed to prevent childhood's obesity from reaching serious proportion. So the research focused on the children's physical activity and physical inactivity and the com concomitant impact of the children's amount of the adipose tissues or fat mass and the endurance fitness. The study is used to analyze certain the effect of physical activity in weight control. So this in sports, research can give and create new methods of upskilling, training techniques, and diet program for a specific sports or genre or games. So the expected output of the students will be a program on how to improve their skills and diet that they can suggest or create a program that can help or solve the basic problem of an athlete or a player. Now let's go to quantitative research in education. So quasi-experiments are most often used in evaluating social problems. Suppose a research has invented or innovated a teaching for improving reading comprehension among junior high school learners, he or she select two junior high school classes in one in school. One of them gets the intervention and the other doesn't. Students are measured before and after the intervention to see whether their reading scores improve. As you can see, these designs contains many of the elements of true experiment, but the participants are not assigned randomly to the treatment and control groups. As you can see, he or she selects two junior high school classes in a school. One of them gets an intervention and the other doesn't. Students are measured before and after the intervention to see whether their reading scores improve. So quantitative research in a communication which the researchers are often interested in how an understanding of a particular communication phenomenon might generalize to a large population. So for example, researchers can advance questions like what effect of the punitive behavior control statement have on the classroom? What communicative behaviors are associated with different stages in romantic relationship? What communicative behaviors are used to respond to co-workers displaying emotional stress? Quantitative research also is very important, especially in psychology for young students. Mitterns 25 or 2005 says that the dominant paradigm that guided earlier psychological research were positivism and its successor, post-positivism. Positivism is based on rationalistic empiricist philosophy. The underlying assumption of the positivism include the beliefs that the social world can be studied in the same way as the natural world, the rare and the method for studying of the social world that is value-free, and the experimentation or explanation of this causal network causal nature can be provided. So the expected output of the students is to create or to study and create innovation that can be used in our daily life situation. As you can see, these researchers came up with an innovation that promotes awareness with this specific topic. In this way, they can improve the insights and perceptions of the respondents. And lastly, quantitative research in technical, vocational, and livelihood or TVL learners. Research is one way to innovate something from the existing product. It would help to improve 
and solve basic problems in the community or society. Through the skills of the learners, they can create or innovate products that can help to improve the livelihood of the community. It is suggested that the expected output of the TVL learners are more on innovation, which they can use their skills. TVL learners can utilize their skills and talents that can innovate food, beverages, things, electrical and electronics, and other TVL offers. With this kind of output, they can share and expand their ideas with the help of their teachers and research advisors. And that's it. Thank you for watching.